We are outside the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, one of several agencies fighting the violence by going directly into neighborhoods in need. For 26 years, St. Louis Q has grilled St. Louis style barbecue on the corner of Goodfellow and West Florissant. The owners say North St. Louis neighborhoods need more businesses willing to make an investment. Everybody's trying to make a living, take care of their family, you know, the same, same thing everybody else wants. Watkins tells me he's become numb to nearby violence. It's become the new norm, and it shouldn't be. Pasta, geraniums. This front yard flower garden near Switzer and Riverview turned into a hiding place for Marcia Cashaw when someone recently fired bullets near her home. She ducked for cover in her garden. It's, it's, it's horrible. We really work hard to try to keep our place nice and stuff. And uh, I, I just don't know what to say. It's just really getting bad. Two victims were recently shot and killed one block away. And she was in her kitchen during another shooting behind her house. It's, it's really, really getting bad. This is the most important issue facing the St. Louis metropolitan area right now. The Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis received a grant to help administer a violence de-escalation program called Cure Violence. The Walnut Park area is a priority. We will be going door to door, effective immediately, helping with everything from utility assistance to jobs, to working with neighborhood churches, working with former gang members and former drug dealers to really get to the root of what is driving the crime and violence. Clark believes a true St. Louis renaissance starts in neighborhoods and says large scale engagement must take place throughout the region to bring about some much needed change. We will learn more about the details of those crime fighting efforts. Tomorrow a news conference is scheduled involving the Urban League and other organizations. Reporting live from Grand Center, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.